Imagine changing someone's perception of you from indifference to genuine interest. It might seem unlikely, but what if I told you that the ancient Stoics had already discovered the secret? In this video, we'll dive into how Stoic principles can help you alter how others see you. Not through tricks or manipulation, but with wisdom and self-assurance. If you're new to the channel, consider liking this video and subscribing. Currently, only 15% of my viewers are subscribed, so if you've found value in this content, I'd appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Let's embark on this journey of transformation together. Have you ever felt overlooked or underappreciated by someone important to you? Have you wondered how to make that person recognize your true value? We'll explore practical and philosophical approaches that go beyond superficial tactics, helping you build authentic value that others will acknowledge and appreciate. Stick around until the end to learn how these teachings can improve your relationships and strengthen your self-esteem. This isn't just about capturing attention. It's about evolving into the best version of yourself, naturally drawing respect and genuine interest from others. Get ready for a shift in perspective that could transform your social and emotional life. Self-esteem is a term everyone knows, but few truly understand its depth and importance in daily life. Picture self-esteem as the foundation of a house. If it's strong, everything built on it will stand firm. If it's weak, even a slight breeze can topple it. So why is self-esteem so vital? First, it shapes how you view and value yourself. When your self-esteem is healthy, you recognize your worth and don't rely on constant validation from others. Imagine the freedom of not needing external approval or compliments. This not only boosts your confidence, but also empowers you to make genuine decisions and live by your own values. Additionally, self-esteem influences how others perceive you. Have you ever noticed how confident people naturally draw attention and respect? That's because they exude a positive energy and inner security that's almost magnetic. We're not talking about arrogance, but a steady, calm confidence that comes from within. High self-esteem also helps you navigate life's challenges and criticism with resilience. Instead of feeling shaken or attacked when someone doesn't appreciate you, you can maintain your composure, understanding that the issue may not be with you. This enables you to respond in a balanced and assertive manner without letting others' negativity affect your well-being. Stoicism, practiced by thinkers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, offers powerful methods to boost self-esteem. One of these is daily reflection. Take a moment each day to contemplate your actions and thoughts. Ask yourself, did I live according to my values today? What can I improve on tomorrow? This simple habit fosters self-awareness and helps you appreciate your worth. Another stoic technique is negative visualization. Although it may seem counterintuitive, Imagining the worst-case scenarios prepares you mentally and highlights your inner strength, reinforcing resilience and, in turn, self-esteem. A central concept in Stoicism is amor fati, which means embracing your fate. This doesn't imply passivity, but rather recognizing that some things are beyond your control and you should make the best of what you have. Embracing this mindset reduces comparison with others and increases self-appreciation. Building self-esteem is a gradual process rooted in self-awareness and acceptance. By integrating these stoic practices into your life, you'll enhance your self-esteem, develop greater confidence, and achieve a more balanced and contented existence. Remember, valuing yourself starts from within. Now that we've explored self-esteem and self-confidence, Let's shift focus to how others perceive you. Transforming others' perception involves adopting habits that bolster your confidence and improve social interactions. Below are 10 practical strategies grounded in stoicism and personal development. These techniques can help you become more authentic and respected in your personal and professional life. Technique 1. Emotional Independence Emotional independence is essential for a more fulfilled and balanced life. It means relying on yourself for happiness and well-being, rather than seeking validation from others. Imagine the freedom of living without being swayed by others' opinions, focusing solely on what truly matters, your well-being. 
Emotional independence doesn't equate to loneliness or isolation. It means building a strong foundation of self-confidence and self-acceptance, allowing you to engage in healthy, balanced relationships. When you recognize your self-worth, you naturally earn respect and admiration. To develop emotional independence, dedicate time to activities that bring you joy and satisfaction. Engage in hobbies you love, learn something new, or simply carve out time to reflect and relax. This personal time is crucial for strengthening your self-confidence. Additionally, prioritize self-care, physical, mental, and emotional health. Regular exercise, healthy eating, meditation, or any activity that enhances your well-being will boost your emotional independence. Another critical step is setting healthy boundaries. Don't hesitate to say no when necessary and protect your emotional space. Establishing boundaries reflects respect for yourself and others, preventing you from being overwhelmed by others' expectations. A key lesson from the Stoics is the importance of focusing on what you can control. Often, we become frustrated and anxious over things beyond our control. By accepting that some things are out of your hands, you relieve a significant emotional burden and concentrate on what you can genuinely impact. Emotional independence is an ongoing journey of self-discovery and growth. It involves becoming your best self, recognizing your intrinsic worth and living by your values. By adopting this mindset, you not only enhance your own life, but also influence how others perceive you. An emotionally independent person exudes confidence, naturally attracting respect and admiration. Technique 2. Practicing Virtue Continuing our discussion on emotional independence, let's delve into the Stoic principle of practicing virtue. Central to Stoicism is the idea of leading a virtuous life, acting in accordance with high moral standards like honesty, courage, justice, and wisdom. But how does this relate to our quest for emotional independence? Practicing virtue involves staying true to your values, regardless of external circumstances. When you act with integrity and adhere to your principles, you build a strong foundation of self-confidence and self-respect, key components of emotional independence. When you know you're doing the right thing, you don't need external validation to feel good about yourself. Start by reflecting on the virtues most important to you, honesty, empathy, courage, or any other value you hold dear. Make a conscious effort to embody these virtues in your daily life. For instance, if honesty is crucial to you, commit to being truthful in all your interactions, even when it's challenging. Practicing virtue also means having the courage to confront fears and challenges. Courage doesn't mean the absence of fear, but rather acting according to your values despite it. Each time you face a difficult situation with courage, you bolster your self-confidence and emotional resilience. Aristotle famously said that virtue is the mean between two extremes, excess and deficiency. This concept reminds us that virtue is about balance, a continuous practice of finding the middle ground in our actions and decisions. Justice, another central virtue, involves treating others fairly and equitably, enhancing your relationships and reinforcing your self-worth. Acting justly contributes to a more harmonious environment, making it easier to live by your values. Wisdom involves a commitment to lifelong learning and openness to new ideas, helping you make informed and balanced decisions. This wisdom further strengthens your emotional independence. Practicing virtue is an ongoing journey of growth and self-discovery. By incorporating these principles into your daily life, you not only improve as a person but also create a solid foundation to face life's challenges with grace and confidence, radiating an inner strength that naturally attracts others' respect and admiration. Technique 3. Assertive Communication To further build emotional independence and practice virtue, it's vital to develop assertive communication. Assertive communication is a cornerstone of healthy, respectful relationships in both personal and professional settings. But what does it mean to communicate assertively? It means expressing your thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully without being aggressive or passive. By communicating assertively, you practice honesty, a key virtue, by being truthful with yourself and others. This creates an atmosphere of transparency and trust. 
Assertive communication isn't about being brutally honest, but rather about expressing your needs and opinions in a balanced way. To start practicing assertive communication, use statements that reflect your feelings and needs without blaming others. For example, instead of saying, you never listen to me, you could say, I feel ignored when I'm not heard. This subtle shift in language can significantly impact how your message is received. Aristotle's insight that we are what we repeatedly do, excellence then is not an act but a habit, applies to assertive communication as well. Becoming an assertive communicator requires consistent practice. Every interaction is an opportunity to refine this skill and strengthen your relationships. Active listening is a crucial part of assertive communication. It's not just about speaking, but also about truly hearing what the other person is saying. This demonstrates respect and empathy, two virtues that enhance any relationship. When you genuinely listen, you better understand others' needs and perspectives, which helps resolve conflicts and build agreements. Maintaining eye contact is another effective technique. Looking into the eyes of the person you're speaking with shows that you're present and engaged in the conversation boosting your credibility and making the other person feel valued. Assertive communication is a two-way street. Be open to receiving feedback and criticism constructively. Accepting others' opinions with respect and consideration demonstrates emotional maturity and fosters personal growth. Developing assertive communication skills is a powerful step towards reinforcing emotional independence and practicing virtue. When you communicate clearly and respectfully, you build connections instead of walls, creating deeper and more meaningful relationships. Technique 4. Active Listening Following our discussion on assertive communication, let's delve into the importance of active listening. Active listening goes beyond merely hearing words. It's about truly understanding and reflecting on what's being said. This skill is crucial for building deeper and more meaningful connections. Active listening requires giving the speaker your full attention. This means setting aside distractions, such as your phone, and focusing entirely on the conversation. Show that you're present and engaged by maintaining eye contact and using nonverbal cues like nodding. This behavior shows respect and fosters an environment of mutual trust. Asking thoughtful questions is also a key component of active listening. Clarifying questions help you better understand the speaker's point of view and demonstrate that you genuinely care about what they're saying. This not only deepens your understanding, but also makes the speaker feel valued and heard. Another effective technique is paraphrasing what you've heard. Restating the speaker's message in your own words ensures that there are no misunderstandings and reassures the speaker that you're following the conversation. This immediate feedback enhances communication clarity. Plato said, Wisdom begins in wonder. In the context of active listening, this wonder is the genuine curiosity about others' experiences and perspectives. Cultivating this curiosity broadens your understanding of the world and enriches your interactions, strengthening your relationships. Active listening also promotes empathy, which involves putting yourself in the other person's shoes and understanding their emotions and motivations. This practice not only improves communication, but also strengthens the emotional connection between people, creating a supportive and understanding environment. Avoiding interruptions is essential. Let the speaker finish their thoughts before responding. Interrupting can seem disrespectful and signals that you're not genuinely interested in what's being said. Allowing the speaker to fully express their ideas shows that you value their input. Active listening is an exercise in patience and presence. In a world filled with distractions, dedicating genuine time and attention to someone is a valuable gift. This practice not only enhances your personal and professional relationships, but also contributes to your personal growth. Developing active listening skills is fundamental for anyone looking to improve their interactions and build stronger relationships. Through it, you demonstrate respect, empathy, and a genuine desire to understand others, making your conversations more meaningful and enriching. Technique 5. Consistency and Dependability Consistency and dependability are qualities that go hand in hand 
and are vital for establishing strong, lasting relationships. Being consistent means acting according to your values and promises continuously, while dependability means being someone others can truly rely on. Together, these qualities form the foundation of any healthy relationship, whether personal or professional.